my quiz. How many years did the French Revolution last? Ten years. The period of the French Revolution began with the opening of the Estates General on 5 May 1789 and ended ten years later with the coup d'etat of Napoleon Bonaparte on November 9, 1799. What caused the French Revolution? These four crises altogether. Economic crisis. Harvests are bad. Misery and famine are coming. Financial crisis. The state budget in 1788 showed a large deficit. Political crisis. Absolute monarchy is contested. Social crisis. The society of orders is questioned. Voltaire, Rousseau and Montesquieu criticized absolute monarchy. They have been called the philosophers. Of the Enlightenment. Enlightenment philosophers criticize the important role of the Roman Catholic Church in society, as well as absolute monarchy. They reject the right of kings to exercise absolute authority over their subjects. What are the three orders that make up the Ancien Regime on the eve of the French Revolution? Clergy. Nobility. Third estate. Each order has a very specific role in society. The clergy, the first estate, prays, the nobility, the second estate, fights, and the third estate, commoners, works. This tripartition is inherited from the Middle Ages. In the spring of 1789, the Cahiers de Dolences allowed French citizens to record. Wishes and complaints. Some 60,000 Cahiers de Dolences were written by each of the three estates in France between March and April 1789. These books of grievances were lists of complaints, suggestions, hopes, requests, demands, and opinions of French citizens concerning problems in the Kingdom of France. They were submitted to the Estates General. On May 5, 1789, the King Louis XVI called a meeting to resolve the financial problems of the Kingdom. What is the name of this meeting? The Estates General The Estates General opened on 5 May 1789 in Versailles. It was a general assembly representing the French estates of the realm. The clergy, the nobility and the third estate, commoners. The goal of the meeting was to deal with France's financial crisis. The 1139 deputies gathered came out of this first session very disappointed because they realized that none of the reforms proposed in their Cahiers de Dolences will be seriously discussed. On June 20, 1789, during the Oath of the Jew de Palme, the deputies took an oath not to separate until The Constitution is established. On 20 June 1789, the members of the French Third Estate occupied the King's indoor tennis court, Jew de Palme, and swore an oath not to disperse until they had given France a new constitution. Like the fall of the Bastille a fortnight later, the tennis court oath became a memorable gesture of revolutionary defiance against the old regime. On July 9, 1789, the deputies declared themselves the National Constituent Assembly and put an end to Absolute monarchy. The National Constituent Assembly began to function as a governing body and constitution drafter. It dissolved itself on 30 September 1791. 
The following day, the Constitution of 1791 went into effect, which granted power to the Legislative Assembly. Which building was stormed by revolutionaries on July 14, 1789? The Bastille. The prison known as the Bastille had become a symbol of the monarchy's dictatorial rule. It also had stores of gunpowder that the revolutionaries needed for their weapons. Its fall on July 14, 1789, was the flashpoint of the French Revolution. Around 100 of the revolutionaries were killed during the fighting. Following the vote of the deputies of the National Constituent Assembly on August 4, 1789, Nobles will have to pay taxes. During the session of the National Constituent Assembly on the night of August 4, 1789, the Marquis de Faucolard de Mailly, deputy of the Perigord, declared that it was now appropriate to attack the great lords who received pensions. All the cities come to renounce their privileges. The abolition of the feudal system is then voted. <laughs>